Hello friends, is your iPhone running out of data too soon? Discover smart tips to cut down mobile data usage on your iPhone effortlessly in these top 10 tips. First, we need to check mobile data usage. Doing this helps us know which apps are using the most data. Let's see the steps. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Tap on the cellular section. Then, swipe to the cellular data section and select show all. A list of apps appears here. You can filter this list by name or usage. Here, it is set to sort by name. Tap to view the apps short by usage. Check which app uses the most mobile data and turn off the toggle next to it to reduce its consumption of the most data. That's it. If the problem persists, enable low power mode. Doing this helps use less cellular data in the background. To do so, launch the settings app on your iPhone, tap on cellular, and tap to open cellular data options. After that, turn on the toggle next to low data mode. That's it. Limit background app refresh. Make sure you have disabled background app refresh. It uses a lot of data in the background. Launch the settings app on your iPhone and tap the general section to limit it. Then, swipe to the background app refresh section and select the top option. Here, three options are available. Select Wi-Fi or turn it off. That's it. Clear Safari cache clearing Safari history and website data reduces the amount of system data stored on your iPhone. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up and open the app section. Find and open Safari settings. Scroll to the history and website section and touch clear history and website data. That's it. Another important tip is to reset app data usage statistics. Launch the settings app, tap on cellular or mobile data, Swipe up and find cellular usage statistics. Make sure you have turned on the toggle next to enable cellular usage statistics. If you disable this setting, cellular usage statistics disable all cellular usage tracking. Also, when you reset statistics, any currently tracked usage is reset to zero. So, tap on reset statistics. That's it. To set a time limit for apps, adding a time limit for specific apps or app categories. And this will apply to all your devices signed into iCloud and shared across devices enabled. You will also receive a notification that appears 5 minutes before the limit is reached. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll to screen time. Under the limit usage section, tap on app and website activity. Tap the turn on app and website activity button. Select app limits, choose add limit, and select the app category. You can also tap the arrow next to the app category to choose a particular app. Then, hit the next button. You can choose a time, customize days, and set limits for specific days. At last, hit the add button. That's it. If you ever decide to remove the app limit, it's just as easy. Simply navigate to the app limits, swipe, and tap delete. Your settings are always flexible and under your control. Another data saving tip is to disable autoplay for videos. I recommend turning off autoplay for videos on social media apps like Instagram, YouTube, and more. For example, launch the YouTube app on your iPhone, tap on the profile icon at the bottom right corner, and then hear the settings icon at the top. After that, swipe up and tap on the playback option under the video and audio preferences section. Here, turn off the toggle next to autoplay the next video. That's it. Another settings for App Store is disable automatic downloads. This process stops auto-downloading apps and app updates on your iPhone. So, let's see the steps. Launch the Settings app, scroll to the App section, and tap on App Store. Under Cellular Data section, turn off automatic downloads, turn off the toggle next to App Downloads and App Updates. That's it. Another helpful tip is monitor streaming quality. If you're using Apple Music or third-party apps like Spotify, Netflix, please check their streaming quality to save your mobile data. For Apple Music, launch the Settings app on your iPhone, scroll to Apps. Now, find Music app and open the Settings. Under the Audio section, tap on Cellular Streaming and set to High Efficiency with Low Data Mode, that's it. Go back and disable Download over Cellular Data Toggle. For Spotify app, Launch the Spotify app on your iPhone. 
Play any music and tap the profile icon at the top left corner. Then, select settings and privacy and check the audio quality. Set cellular streaming to automatic or low. Do the same thing for video quality. That's it. The next tip is to use Wi-Fi whenever possible. If you're in a free and open Wi-Fi environment, connect to it and turn off cellular data. To do so, launch the settings app on your iPhone. Tap on Wi-Fi and join the trusted network. While using the Wi-Fi network, make sure you have disabled Wi-Fi Assist from the settings app. If it is on, your phone will switch to the cellular network when the Wi-Fi signal gets slow or weak. That's it. I hope found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks videos.